Hi, I'm Stephen Hare from Archery Supply. Today we're going to look at the Wings Carbon Horsebow. Now the horsebows, there's a whole bunch of them made and to different qualities. This one's carbon and it's meant to be laminate. So we're going to show you what it is. These retail in Australia for around $300, $290. Um, now I've had other horsebows in my store for about the um, $100 mark. Um, now that was solid wood and that bit just been carved by hand and then they've been strung with a little notch at the end. Um, this is clearly a better bow than the $100 one, uh, the grip. Now, um, back when I was young, uh, I went to Korea. Uh, I saw archery and I saw a whole bunch of Koreans shooting these and what they did is they shot them at about 200 odd meters over a gorge aiming about 45 degrees with a thumb ring they shot so I hooked on here and they lobbed them they were generally old guys and they had a lady at the other end who would gather the arrows put them in a basket and then she would hoist them back like in a trolley to the shooters at the other end kind of like a golf range um, and they shot all these bows that's all they shot so no recurves just these types of bows so quick bit about it um, they come in all different poundages about the um, extremely light like they weigh nothing um, they come in different poundages 35 40 45 50 um, and there's a whole bunch of different ones made at different price points um, this to me this looks like a carbon wrap which they put over which is just like a adhesion so to me this is just for looks this here the wrapping here looks quite nice the leather grip looks quite nice um, the writing on the back here looks quite nice but I've actually got no idea how many laminations it is or anything sort of about the bow this crafting here looks nice little rubber stoppers there should make it a little bit quieter they've got a little bit of leather over the end here over the limb tip um, so the way you shoot these bows so there's a group of archers who shoot these off horseback in Australia um, a lot of people will have leather gloves here for their fingers when they shoot off because if you shoot off your finger like so that wood arrow can go over your finger and can cut your finger and I've got a high chance of cutting my finger when I do this video a lot of them won't have knocking points and the reason they don't have knocking points is because your hand might be at a different position so you hold the bow like such and then you basically knock the arrow on the thing on their string now you're generally shooting these at close distance you know 10 20 meters and the people who shoot them on horseback so they're riding along on horse and there's targets alongside and they'll grab an arrow and shoot at distance and when i say at distance they're probably shooting about 10 meters while the horse is at a gallop um, and i think it's a hit or miss system so let's just take a shot and see how the bow draws so this is 35 pounds, it's a 50 inch bow, so 50 is quite short. As I said, they normally shoot with a thumb ring, but the people on horseback normally shoot with fingers, and you normally have a glove, I haven't got a glove here. Um, so it's very, very smooth all the way back. It's, it's nice, it's comfortable, it feels, feels great. Um, so let's just take this shot. So when I aim, I'm generally aiming it at an angle like such. Um, so it's not straight up or down slightly angled with a target recurve you have it straight up and down because you've got a sight and that sight needs to be um, vertical if it's not then you're shooting left or right but with this this is instinctive shooting and you're basically looking down the arrow and just having a twang so you want the arrow over this bit of leather here so let's just have a shot and i could feel the feather come over my uh, finger um, so about this versus a recurve hunting bow um, these are really a bit of a novelty in my opinion if I was going hunting for deer I wouldn't take one of these I'd take a proper recurve and other people may argue that point but I would want more accuracy and that's where I get a normal recurve for the normal recurves cut out here so it shoots better this is more a traditional thing for people who like traditional bows. I actually hit the target that time. Um, so a bit about these horse bows. 
they're not big sellers in archery shops so i brought a whole bunch in for a hundred bucks each from china um and they sat in my shop for about a year until i sold them all so we were selling probably two a week at a hundred bucks each um and i tell you people were picky with handcrafted wood wrapped in leather that they were buying for a hundred that was two or three hundred dollars at other at other shops but people were really picky so um Like it shoots well, it's silent, there's no vibration when you shoot the bow. Um, who would like this? Kids would like this type of bow because it's more like, you know, Lord of the Rings. It's more like Robin Hood. Um, so if you've got kids getting started in archery, this bow is going to be too heavy as far as in draw weight. But this will suit anyone who wants that traditional aspect of archery um, and I can't hit absolutely I can't hit anything with this bow my arrows are grouped so I'll show you my group <laughs> that didn't hit anything meters um, so that's <laughs> that's my group there and you can see they're all off to the side um, Look, I'd probably get better the more I shot it. Um, and occasionally I'd probably hit the center of the target um, the more I shot it. I find the bow really nice to shoot. It's comfortable. And if you don't want the whole stress of shooting a release aid and sights, and I don't want target panic today, I don't want the stress of like, am I going to hit the target? Am I going to hit a 10? That's where the horse bow comes in. You're happy if you hit the target. You don't expect to hit the target. And I'm going to get a whole bunch of people who say, well, I'm really accurate with my horse bow and great, great for you. And there's a person in this state who's pretty good with a horse bow. Um, but to me, it's the hardest of all bows. So hard and long, I think it's compound, recurve, long bow, then the horse bow. The horse bow being the hardest because you don't have that shelf. Um, but saying that it's a different type of bow and if you like archery and you like all different types of bows these look kind of cool on the shelf um they're nice to shoot um the reason why they were obviously short is because you're shooting them off horseback um at generally close distance so you're basically riding past people and shooting them at point blank distance with an arrow um but these aren't too bad. $300 versus $100 for a wood one. Now, the wood ones I had for $100, the poundage was very variable. So it might have been marked at £35. Pounds, and then when you weighed it up, it might have been 40 or it might have been 30 I would expect these to be a lot more accurate. But they're three times the price. So just bear that in mind. The Wings, <laughs> the Wings Carbon um, Horse Bow. Um, there's a few shops with them. Um, they come out of, like I said, they come out of Korea. Um, there's a whole bunch out of China of the horse bows, but have a try. Um, there's plenty of them around. Thanks for watching. Bye.